What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mo, and today we're gonna be playing with a brand new, newly released, super hyped up Pat McGrath concealer. Ding! So I went to Sephora the other day and had to restock on a bunch of my necessities before this coronavirus madness broke loose and everything has been shut down. So I'm so glad that I made it into the store before all that stuff happened. So I wanted to um, actually pick up this concealer because this is one of the only brand new makeup products that has released lately that I've been like, ooh, I kinda wanna see what it's all about. Because when the Pat McGrath foundation came out a couple months back, I reviewed that and I loved it, but it just didn't agree with my skin type, um, so it broke me out. Um, and I, I have higher hopes for the concealer just because I'm not gonna be placing it all over my face. So I really just bought this to highlight and brighten under the eyes, like the center of the forehead type of situation. So I'm hoping that I'll be a-okay with the formula, but that's what today's video is all about. Before we get into it, I'm gonna remind you guys to please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video <laughs> and comment down below let me know what your thoughts are if you tried it if you plan on trying it whatever what have you all right so let's get into this video so okay the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer comes in 36 shades it retails for 32 dolores um, and it comes in five different categories light light medium 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 deep and deep i got the color medium deep 27 which looks like this this is the packaging, which is so cute. I already ripped off the little sticker, but super, super cute packaging. And um, when you open it up, this is what the concealer looks like. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yes. It has a six month shelf life and there is five milliliters in here or 0.16 fluid ounces compared to the tried and true Tarte Shape Tape, which is my favorite concealer that I've been using for years at this point. This one is in the shade Rich and it comes with 10 milliliters or 0.3381 fluid ounces. So I definitely get more of the Tarte Shape Tape than I do the Pat McGrath. And you can also see hopefully the color difference so you can see what they look like. So the Pat McGrath one is definitely a little bit more peachy and brighter. Um, MD27 says it's a medium deep with a peach undertone. So it's hopefully going to cancel out any remaining darkness that I have peeking through my foundation, which by the way is the Becca Ultimate Coverage in the shade Tonka. Right now, all I have on my face is foundation. I have on my brows with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer underneath, and I have like little powder, some mascara, and a little brown wing liner, and lips, that's it. I have nothing else on my actual skin, so I'm just gonna go straight in with the concealer. And I'm thinking that I might wanna just do a little like test where I do Tarte Shape Tape on one side and Pat McGrath on the other, just so I can get like a good comparison, since the Tarte Shape Tape is like what I've been wearing literally for the longest time ever. Okay, so we're gonna go straight in with the Pat McGrath. It does come with a doe foot applicator. And the packaging, I think, is like glass. So it's like really luxe and Pat McGrath-esque, as we all know. And I'm just gonna grab my little mirror and really just go straight in, y'all. I don't think there's anything else to discuss here, is there? Oh, actually, while I'm applying this, or before I apply it, I'll say really quickly what the claims of this um, concealer are. It's creamy, full coverage, a natural radiant matte finish. Um, it's supposed to be long wearing, weightless, endlessly accommodating to the face's most exquisite contours. Blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to mimic the skin's natural um, stretch and elasticity. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say about that. So let's just go straight in and try her out, shall we? So I just dipped in once and I'm just applying it the same, pretty much the same way that I would apply my um, Tarte Shape Tape. So I always take it down the center, the bridge of my nose and then in between my eyebrows to highlight and then obviously underneath my eye. And I'm gonna go in with a clean beauty blender and just start bouncing it and blending it out. Now I am getting a late start on filming today, so I'm probably not gonna wear this for a full day's worth, but if y'all follow me on Insta, you'll be able to get an update on my, um, on my thoughts before this video probably goes live. And then I'll leave comments down below on my, um, or I probably will leave it in the description box on like what my kind of final impressions were once I'm done washing it off at the end of the night. So we'll see. But so far, okay, lift. Yes, honey, cheekbone popped all the way out. It's covering up amazingly. This is beautiful. 
and I like to bring mine all the way up to the temple because I want to lift my face. I do have an oval shaped face, so depending on what shape you know your face is, you might not want to like do that whole lifting thing. You might want to just stop it right at the corner of the eye. But for me, I like to take it all the way up and like I said, blend it out in between the eyebrows and down the bridge of my nose. So far, I'm really impressed with how this is um how how bright like it's making my face it actually looks really really good i was a little skeptical about the peach undertone but that's going to be perfect for helping to cancel out darkness in a deeper complexion yes god okay nose bridge oh this is bomb so far <laughs> so far i'm like yes all right and then i just always like to go with my foundation brush with no product on it and just kind of tap around the edges so that everything blends super seamlessly okay so hopefully now you guys can see a quick little before and after what it looks like with the pat mcgrath on my left side and nothing on the right side other than foundation so i'm loving the finish so far it actually looks bomb and i like the fact that it doesn't feel too wet and creamy so i don't have to go in and bake super heavy with my setting powder because i don't want my under eyes to look crepey and like creasy um and when concealers are just too like wet and emollient i feel like you have to set with extra powder whereas this feels like if i did not have oily skin i probably wouldn't even need to set it very much which brings me to my next point this concealer you can buy in a set so on the pat mcgrath website you can either buy the concealer by itself for 32 dollars you can buy the um sublime perfection blurring under eye powder which is like a little compact for 30 dollars and then the brush to apply the concealer is 32 as well. So the kit could be 52 for the concealer and the powder. It could be 79 for all three products, or it could be 32 for just the concealer by itself, which is what I did. And I got mine at my local Sephora. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly apply my Tarte Shape Tape on the other side, same old, same per usual. And already what I'm noticing is that the Tarte Shape Tape is wet. It's like way more wet than the Pat McGrath, which I never really noticed until I'm doing like this comparison. So um, I actually really appreciate the texture and like the, the finish of this Pat McGrath over the Tarte Shape Tape, which again is what I'm used to for the last, literally I, I feel like I've been wearing Tarte Shape Tape since it came out. Like I fell in love with it all that time ago and I haven't changed since then. I also haven't really tried other concealers except for like maybe a drugstore or two. So I don't have like a whole lot of experience in what else has been out there, but that just tells you that I love the Tarte Shape Tape that much. So if Pat McGrath can change my mind about that, which I'm sure she can, then um, I'm sold. <laughs> There's nothing more to talk about here. Ooh, I'm geeks. Geekity geek geek. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> This Pat McGrath is everything. It looks so much better. Ow. All right. So now we're going to set per use so I have to treat them both equally and do this how I normally would do my makeup. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the original translucent. So it is like a little bit of a white powder, but I don't use a lot. And I'm just going to set my under eyes briefly like i'm gonna basically bake them but like super super lightly i don't put a lot of powder under my eyes because again i don't like it to look dry and crepey and i always pat off the excess on the back of my hand what do you guys think so far i'm really curious i already know what side i'm leaning towards already but i'm really curious if you guys can even tell a difference or if you feel like it's one and the same all right let me knock out the rest of my face real quick which just really means applying my lower lash mascara some little um Pat McGrath, uh, what is this called? The Blitz Brown Eyeliner Pencil. And I'll throw on some blush and all that highlighter and I'll be right back to finish up with the final look. All right, we are back. Face is beat, honey, per usual. Are you shocked? No, you shouldn't be. Nah, but everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below in the description box. But I gotta give a quick ass honorable mention to this pat mcgrath lip gloss i went like i said to sephora when i picked up the new concealer and i just i poked around in her um section and she had this new lip gloss called dreamscape it comes with this really pretty pink um unicorn situation that is different than her others you guys know i love pat mcgrath lip glosses and the one i was trying to repurchase was bronze temptation which is completely out i'm literally scraping the bottom of 
of this little thing here but obviously there's nothing alike but when i saw this one not only does it smell like cake mix like cake icing or frosting but um i like the way that it swatches which is beautiful it's so so pretty super reflective and like pearlescent so i like that about it and i do have it on top of my lips right now which of course you guys already know what i'm wearing it's the anastasia liquid lip in the color in between this is what i wear all the time and i have it outlined with like a mac current lip liner i think yeah matte current lip liner so this is my lip combo that I'm wearing right now and I just want to quickly mention this to you guys I don't know if this is like a permanent shade or if it was like a limited edition because it has a special packaging but it's amazing and I feel like I'm looking my best right now like Pat McGrath everything Pat McGrath highlighter this is her little highlighting trio that I'm wearing I'm wearing the bronze shade right here and I'm going nowhere <laughs> How amazing literally going nowhere so I'm gonna ask you guys to make sure you check me out on Instagram if you want the tea about this here concealer um, throughout the night or just like my updates on it when I wear it in the future make sure you check me out on IG at they call me underscore mo that's where you will get all the deets but yeah so far now that everything is done I'm not gonna lie if I didn't know which eye I put the concealer on, I would probably not even be able to tell because they look so similar. Um, the finish is perfect right now, but of course, like I said, I gotta wear it throughout the night and wear it for a longer period of time to see how it actually really like stays put and lasts. But um, in general, my eyes don't get um, creasy and like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like shiny they stay like this pretty much the entire day it's pretty much like my t-zone and like the perimeter of my face that if anything would get oily so i'll let you guys know what my final thoughts are um like i said as i continue to wear it but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below make sure that you give me a thumbs up again and also subscribe and i will see you guys really soon in my next video okay bye guys